Hi everyone, it's Melissa here. Today we are going to sew up these cute Everest overalls with burn pockets. Make sure you have everything all cut out and we'll, we are going to get started. So here I have my two pockets and I have my front full piece. And then here is my back. It's the razor back, full piece. You're gonna need your two linings, your front piece and your back piece. Now first we are going to put our back piece front si or right side up, sorry, just like this. And then we're gonna lay our lining right over top. You want to line up the shoulders and the sides. Pin and clip wherever you need. I like to do just a couple, just to hold it in place here. So put one on the side, one on the top, and the other side. So now we're going to sew all along these edges here. This is the arm stick. You can use your sewing machine. You can use your serger. I'm going to use a serger here. Make sure you're sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then we will repeat with the other side. Making sure your edges are nice and lined up. There we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and do this inside V. If you want, you can pin and clip. Again, making sure your raw edges are together. And there you go. Oh, my lights came on. Now we're just going to fold this inside out, or right sides out, I guess. Pull those little tabs, or shoulder straps, I guess. There we are. And your back is complete. Well, for now, anyhow. So now we are gonna go ahead and take out our front. So we'll right, lay down our front bodice right side up and do the same as we just did with the back, laying your lining on top, right side down Use pins and clips if you need, and we're just going to sew in these sides right where those arms are going to go. Again, with a quarter inch seam allowance. And there we go. And we'll lay that front side up and we're just going to kind of sandwich the back right in between here. Or actually first I guess we'll do the the pockets. So you just want to fold over half an inch on the top part of your pocket and go ahead and hem that down. You can hem however you prefer on the sewing machine like I'm going to do right now, or use your cover stitch. I'd use the cover stitch, but I had white thread in my cover stitch. And I just really did not feel like changing it. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put two lines together, keeping it as close to that line as possible on the raw edge there. And now we're just going to line it up to the sides. Those little tabs that you've seen there that you had kind of cut, that's where you want it to line up. If you didn't put those in, definitely go do that now. It'll make lining up your pockets so much easier. And you're just gonna fold over these edges now and then pin it all the way around in place. I did a quarter inch seam allowance of a fold over here, all the way down. like so. And then again on the bottom piece there, just kind of fold it over, put some clips in. And then go ahead and pin it nice and even around the edges. And repeat with the other side here. And now we're just going to sew around those edges that we had just folded and pinned. I tried to like to stay as close to the edge as possible so that it doesn't have a nice flap, about an eighth of an inch. And there you go, pockets are on. So now we are going to go ahead and put the back bodice and tuck it right into the front bodice. Both of them are the right sides are together. I'm just gonna lift this piece here and put those sides like so. Tuck those bands in. Make sure you get it nice and snug and use pins and clips if you need to. I like to use them here especially just to make sure that it keeps it nice and tight together and doesn't slide all over the place. So those are your two lining and your two main pieces are together. And then you just kind of sandwich it. Do the same with the other side. Get it nice and tight. and then start pinning all the way down here. Some people will leave it all wide open. I like to tuck the corners in like this. I know it's four layers of fabric, but I find it just kind of helps keep everything tucked away nicely and clean. This is how I like to do it. Bonus is you get hidden seams this way. And no flappy uh, piece. So we're just gonna go ahead, we will sew this all the way down, but we're gonna go ahead and make sure that those notches, right where those pockets were lined up, are lined up again on the other side. just to make sure that they're all in place and it's all stretched evenly. It shouldn't have to stretch, but you never know. So we'll do that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pin all the way down.
making sure that it lays nice and flat on top of each other. I'm going to do the inseam as well. And now go ahead and sew those straight edges up. Remember to use a quarter inch seam allowance. Repeat with the other side. Making sure everything is tucked in as you're going along. And then go ahead and do your inseam as well. There you go. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the leg cuffs. So we're gonna fold them together and sew up the side seam here. I am using ribbing for my cuffs. You can use whatever fabric you like. I do like the ribbing just because it gives a little bit better of a stretch. We're gonna go ahead and fold those in half again, matching those serged edges or sewn edges, and then flip it so that you have your right sides out. You can go ahead and pin and clip your, your quarters if you need to. We're gonna do that again here. There we go. And then we're going to place them in the inside of the pant leg here. I do like to match up those seams to the inside where the inseam is. So I'll match up those seams. Right there, I'll put a little clip. And I'm just going to stretch it a little bit to make sure that it's even all nice and even around here. And then I'm gonna put another clip, just to kind of hold it in place. And we'll do the same with the other side. Remember, you don't wanna overstretch. You just want it so that your fabric is uh, laying nicely against each other here. one's kind of giving me a little bit of grief. There we go. And now sew it right around that inside circle. Making sure that it's nice and taut all the way around. You don't want to stretch your main fabric too much at all. Um, you just want to stretch that cuff a little bit to make sure that it all lines up. And we'll go ahead and do the other side. See, perfect seams. There you go, your legs are complete. So then we'll go ahead and get these ties tucked in here. So 
I'm just gonna lay my ties out nice and flat. Get them so that they're nice and stretched out even first. We'll put a couple pins in there, or clips. There we go. So I'm just going to tuck them into the inside. Everything is right side out. I just kind of went straight through where the opening of the lining is. And I'm going to put the tip of this arm band here, or strap, right along the edge. And I'm going to pin it again, keeping it nice and tight, but yet pulled apart. You want it nice and as flat as you can. And then do the same with the other side. Just kind of tuck that in, making sure that it's not flipped around or twisted or anything like that. <clears throat> Keep it nice and straight, tuck it in. And pin or clip. See, there it is. I'm just gonna tuck that back in here now. And then you can go ahead, get that nice and straight and sew right up on top there. You can use your serger or your sewing machine again, like I said, whatever you wish with the quarter inch seam allowance. And there you go. Let's tie off all these little loose ends here and now you can unfold your masterpiece got my hand caught in the pocket there we go one leg two leg and there is your brand new Everest romper I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, definitely plop them into the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of these. Thanks everyone. Oh, here's another little, there we go. Perfect. All right, thank you.